Hey, welcome to this Command Modern Air Naval Operations gameplay video. If you love modern battle simulations, then don't miss a minute of what's coming up. Hey, welcome. Oh, what do you say we get back into our Command Modern Air Naval Operations series? We're looking for the fourth submarine tutorial. So let's get her started. And while I get her loaded up, hey, if you haven't subscribed, what's keeping you? Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification. So you know when I've posted another video, like and share. And leave me a comment. That's the most fun thing. Let me know what you think. All right, basic submarine operations exam. Diesel submarine attack on a surface unit. Well, so it's fourth in a series of tutorials designed to teach players the fundamentals of submarine operations in CMANO and the first exam of the series. In this tutorial, the following topics will be covered. Bottom profiling to counteract the sonar and shallow water operations. And you'll need to know all these other things that we learned. Okay, and you can pause the video here if uh, you want to read this in detail. Okay, it's just that's the same thing. Let's jump in and let's go. Okay, oh goodness, I uh, managed to screw up my message window. Control Shift M. Very nice. That cat back. Uh, Here's the thing we need to know. Friendly intelligence agents have spotted your target transiting the Bosphorus Straits. Plot a course through your targets and blah, blah, blah. Okay, fine. Let's see. Shallow water environment differs from deep water in a number of ways. No convergence zones. The thermocline may be thinner or weaker or non-existent. The ocean floor is presence a hard limit to diving depth. Well, yeah. Sonar performance is markedly reduced in terms of range and sensitivity, and ocean floor topography affects sonar performance. Okay. Now, I don't intend to read this in any detail. We can take a few moments here. Again, pause the video. Three, two, one, and get a quick read here. Okay, and so it's shallow water. Uh, you can't dive below the bottom, and uh, all kinds of things make that happen. Uh, specifically, low and middle frequencies on active sonars are not very good. High frequencies are better, um, and it's really noisy. So let's go ahead and plot a course, which is... F3, uh, once you've selected the submarine, F3, plot the course. It really doesn't give you much in a way of directions on that. I think we'll stay just below the layer at creep. And let's go. Let's kick the time up. All right, well, it doesn't matter. This is worth reading. A common tactic that makes use of this shallow water environment is bottom profiling. This is when a submarine avoids detection by sitting motionless on the open floor. For a diesel submarine, the reduction in battery consumption allows for very long submerged endurance, and the lack of noise generated by movement means the submarine is generally much quieter than the surrounding environment. So we skip ahead a bit. So for bottom profiling to be effective, which, by the way, let's go back. Here, pause the video and read. Okay, let's go. For bottom profiling to be effective, the submarine must be motionless. Any movement will increase the likelihood of detection drastically, particularly against high frequency sonar. A good submarine commander will decide on a suitable location, all the better if terrain masking is used, and get in place well before the target comes within sensor range. The submarine will then remain motionless and wait for the target to pass overhead before maneuvering into the target's baffles for a high probability of kill torpedo shot. And baffles is a term used to describe the relative dead zone of sonar coverage behind a ship or submarine. So click close and continue. It actually says close and resume. 
and our submarine. Okay, at this point, basically this is an exam. They're not going to give us a whole lot of instructions of what to do. Um, I played this a couple of times once. I uh, actually just never saw the target. I thought I'd get real smart and go over here and hide behind these ridges and maybe work my way up to the island. That didn't work. So we're just going to keep going. We're going to at some point pick these guys up and we'll do that bottom profiling thing. Hopefully they will pass above us and then we will rise from the depths and give him a uh, lot of fun with a couple of torpedoes. So we're in, I think we're in a Greek type 209, which is a German built submarine, if I remember correctly. Our opponent is, yeah, we, there we go, a Knox class, a Turkish Knox class. Um, I actually know somebody who served on a, no, not on a Knox, he served on a Garcia class, not to think about it. Oh well, let's go ahead and kick this time up and watch it happen. We are creeping along just below the lair. And here he comes. And if I... Ooh, ooh, having fun with this click, click, click thing. And in a few moments, this will resolve itself if it works anything like it did before. And I'm doing a few screenshots here because a fella's got to have them to uh, build videos. And I'm thinking these are different radar. Uh, search ranges this could be sonar in here i don't know beats me i don't even know what that means one up oh, well we've lost track of him i think that will also resolve itself here shortly let's go ahead and kick the time up just a wee bit Get ready on the space bar to. Uh uh. Okay. We've got a contact on our IPS CSU 3, range 5 nautical miles, roughly 4.6, which is ISPS CSU 3. Should be in here somewhere. Ah, acoustic intercept early 70s technology. Okay. Let's uh, select the submarine. We want to go deep as possible. Full stop. And kick it back to 15 seconds and see if we got away with it or whether he spotted us before we could get quiet. And uh, he is really coming down on, whoop, whoop. And, okay, I am struggling. There we go. Wish it was a click and drag. All right, we're on the bottom, 548 feet, doing zero knots, and this guy is less than two miles away. Well, that's uh, interesting. Let's continue. Uh, let's slow things down just a bit. He also has a helicopter up there, so we have to be aware. Of course, we're not going to hear that. Uh, I don't think. 
Okay, he is. There's. This appears to be some displays of. Well, we're not sure. He's out here somewhere. Um, let's see if it'll do that, and I can pause it. Yeah. If I had to guess, and I am guessing, this is where we think he is, but he could be anywhere along this arc. I could be wrong. Maybe I ought to read the manual someday. He ought to get close enough and this resolve itself a lot more, you know, the closer he gets. Where the heck it says he's only 0.6 miles away. Lord. Well, kicked it down to five seconds. Let's kick it up to 15. Oh, let's pause. Uh, he didn't pass right over us, did he? Let's give it a, whoop, whoop. Okay, let's, let's not. Let's do, select the submarine, F2, come up to just under the layer, creep, and turn this way to move into his baffles and hope we get away with it. Here we go. Let's go to five seconds. Well, so far we have. Okay, shift F1. At that fellow right there, we have 14 soot mod fours. We are going to allocate two, tar two count them, two torpedoes. And let's see if we get away with this. <laughs> Well, those torpedoes are booging along at 35 knots. He's making 12. That's no way to get away. I don't think that's a... There's a high expectation that you're going to escape that. Yeah, I think maybe, just maybe this works. Oh, one missed and thump. That's fascinating. Let's see. Let's bring the. Uh, uh, attacking pace 75%. Miss and re attack. Here we got a 66 we hit. And I guess that did him in because. It's gone ahead and awarded us a win. Yep, that's what it looks like to me. Scoring. And. Oh, that's the torpedo. But since he's not. No, there he is. Huh. Doesn't seem to actually show that this guy had gotten hit. Or showing damage. I think getting the hit may be in the. Uh, if it'll continue. Yeah, he's gone. Torpedo's coming around. Hope it doesn't come back around and try to find me. Yeah! <laughs> if it's wire guided, I wonder if I can control that torpedo. That's. Uh... Oh, I don't know. I haven't learned that part yet. And what can you do? What can you do? It's on the wire. Weapons. Yep, that's not helpful. Um, well, we select that F3, turn, I wonder what happens. Okay, he's, he's circling around out there looking for his target. We don't have to worry about him coming back. Well, wasn't that fascinating? I think we call it.
And this time it only took about 15 minutes to pull this one off. Well, there we go. We passed our first test. And I guess what comes up next, if uh, I were to take a look, I uh, would have to do something probably crazy. Like, uh, huh, hang on. Let's pause this for a moment. Okay, taking a look, it says that the next scenario is basic training. Well, let's take a look. Tutorials. I think this one. So, next time it'll be uh, conducting submarine attacks against submarine warship and land targets. Does that make sense? Yeah, Basic Training Submarine Operations 2013. I think that's the one. We'll figure it out. Hey, look, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you again soon. Hey, thanks for watching. If you click on that picture of Very Young Waz, you'll be subscribed so you'll never miss another video. Then click on that bell notification button, and please share and comment. See you again soon.